A biblical canon or canon of scripture is a set of texts or books which a particular religious community regards as authoritative scripture. The English word canon comes from the Greek canon, meaning rule or measuring stick. Christians became the first to use the term in reference to scripture, but Eugene Ulrich regards the idea as Jewish. Most of the canons listed below are considered by adherents closed i.e., books cannot be added or removed, reflecting a belief that public revelation has ended and thus some person or persons can gather approved inspired texts into a complete and authoritative canon, which scholar Bruce Metzger defines as an authoritative collection of books. In contrast, an open canon, which permits the addition of books through the process of continuous revelation, Metzger defines as a collection of authoritative books. These canons have developed through debate and agreement on the part of the religious authorities of their respective faiths and denominations. Believers consider canonical books as inspired by God or as expressive of the authoritative history of the relationship between God and his people. Some books, such as the Jewish Christian Gospels, have been excluded from various canons altogether, but many disputed books—considered non-canonical or even apocryphal by some— are considered to be biblical apocrypha or deuterocanonical or fully canonical by others. Differences exist between the Jewish Tanakh and Christian biblical canons, although the Jewish Tanakh did form the basis for the Christian Old Testament, and between the canons of different Christian denominations. In some cases where varying strata of scriptural inspiration have accumulated, it becomes prudent to discuss texts that only have an elevated status within a particular tradition. This becomes even more complex when considering the open canons of the various Latter-day Saint sects, which are usually viewed as divergent from biblical Christianity and moreover, Judaism, and the scriptural revelations purportedly given to several leaders over the years within that movement. <laughs> <laughs> Jewish canons <laughs> Rabbinic Judaism Topic. Rabbinic Judaism Hebrew, Ihedo Urbnit recognizes the 24 books of the Masoretic Text, commonly called the Tanakh Hebrew, Tana K or Hebrew Bible. Evidence suggests that the process of canonization occurred between 200 BC and 200 AD, and a popular position is that the Torah was canonized c. 400 BC, the prophet c. 200 BC, and the writings c. 100 AD perhaps at a hypothetical council of Jamnia. However, this position is increasingly criticized by modern scholars. According to Mark Zvi Brettler, the Jewish scriptures outside the Torah and the prophets were fluid, different groups seeing authority in different books. The Book of Deuteronomy includes a prohibition against adding or subtracting 4 to 2, 12, 32, which might apply to the book itself i.e. a closed book a prohibition against future scribal editing or to the instruction received by Moses on Mount Sinai. The Book of Two Maccabees, itself not a part of the Jewish canon, describes Nehemiah c. 400 BC as having founded a library and collected books about the kings and prophets, and the writings of David, and letters of kings about votive offerings. 2.13-15 the Book of Nehemiah suggests that the priest scribe Ezra brought the Torah back from Babylon to Jerusalem and the Second Temple 8 to 9 around the same time period. Both I and II Maccabees suggest that Judas Maccabeus c. 167 BC likewise collected sacred books 342-50, 213-15, 15-6-9. Indeed some scholars argue that the Jewish canon was fixed by the Hasmonean dynasty. However, these primary sources do not suggest that the canon was at that time closed, moreover, it is not clear that these sacred books were identical to those that later became part of the canon. The Great Assembly, also known as the Great Synagogue, was, according to Jewish tradition, an assembly of 120 scribes, sages, and prophets, in the period from the end of the biblical prophets to the time of the development of Rabbinic Judaism, marking a transition from an era of prophets to an era of rabbis. They lived in a period of about two centuries ending c. 70 AD. 
Among the developments in Judaism that are attributed to them are the fixing of the Jewish biblical canon, including the books of Ezekiel, Daniel, Esther, and the Twelve Minor Prophets, the introduction of the triple classification of the Oral Torah, dividing its study into the three branches of Midrash, Halakot, and Agado, the introduction of the Feast of Purim, and the institution of the prayer known as the Shemineh. Esreh as well as the synagogal prayers, rituals, and benedictions. In addition to the Tanakh, mainstream rabbinic Judaism considers the Talmud (Hebrew: Talim to be another central, authoritative text. It takes the form of a record of rabbinic discussions pertaining to Jewish law, ethics, philosophy, customs, and history. The Talmud has two components: the Mishnah. C. 200 AD, the first written compendium of Judaism's oral law, and the Gemara c. 500 AD, an elucidation of the Mishnah and related Tanaitic writings that often ventures onto other subjects and expounds broadly on the Tanakh. There are numerous citations of Sarash within the Talmud, even though the book was not ultimately accepted into the Hebrew canon. The Talmud is the basis for all codes of rabbinic law and is often quoted in other rabbinic literature. Certain groups of Jews, such as the Karaites, do not accept the Oral Law as it is codified in the Talmud and only consider the Tanakh to be authoritative. Beta Israel Ethiopian Jews—also known as Beta Israel J. E. Z. Beta. Isra. L. Possess a canon of scripture that is distinct from Rabbinic Judaism. Mashafa Kadus Holy Scriptures is the name for the religious literature of these Jews, which is written primarily in J. E. Z. Their holiest book, the Orit, consists of the Pentateuch, as well as Joshua, Judges, and Ruth. The rest of the Ethiopian Jewish canon is considered to be of secondary importance. It consists of the remainder of the Hebrew canon, with the possible exception of the Book of Lamentations, and various deuterocanonical books. These include Sarash, Judith, Tobit, 1 and 2 Esdras, 1 and 4 Baruch, the three books of Maccabean, Jubilees, Enoch, the Testament of Abraham, the Testament of Isaac, and the Testament of Jacob. The latter three patriarchal testaments are distinct to this scriptural tradition. A third tier of religious writings that are important to Ethiopian Jews, but are not considered to be part of the canon, include the following: Nagara Muse, The Conversation of Moses, Moda Aaron, Death of Aaron, Moda Muse, Death of Moses, Te. Ezaza Sanbat Precepts of Sabbath, Ard. Et Students, The Apocalypse of Gorgorios, Mashafa Sa. Atat Book of Hours, Abba Elias Father Elijah, Mashafa Mala. Kate Book of Angels, Mashafa Kahan Book of Priests, Dursana Abraham Wasara Begabs Homily on Abraham and Sarah in Egypt, Gadla Sosna The Acts of Susanna, and Bikadami Gabra Igsiapur In the Beginning God Created. In addition to these, Zina Ehud the Ethiopic version of Josipon, and the sayings of various Falisfa philosophers are sources that are not necessarily considered holy, but nonetheless have great influence. <laughs> Samaritan canon Another version of the Torah, in the Samaritan alphabet, also exists. This text is associated with the Samaritans Hebrew, Swernum Arabic, al a people of whom the Jewish Encyclopedia states, "...their history as a distinct community begins with the taking of Samaria by the Assyrians in 722 BC." The Samaritan Pentateuch's relationship to the Masoretic text is still disputed. Some differences are minor, such as the ages of different people mentioned in genealogy, while others are major, such as a commandment to be monogamous, which only appears in the Samaritan version. More importantly, the Samaritan text also diverges from the Masoretic in stating that Moses received the Ten Commandments on Mount Gerizim—not Mount Sinai—and that it is upon this mountain Gerizim that sacrifices to God should be made—not in Jerusalem. Scholars nonetheless consult the Samaritan version when trying to determine the meaning of text of the original Pentateuch, as well as to trace the development of text families. Some scrolls among the Dead Sea Scrolls have been identified as Proto-Samaritan Pentateuch text type. Comparisons have also been made between the Samaritan Torah and the Septuagint version. Samaritans consider the Torah to be inspired scripture, but do not accept any other parts of the Bible—probably a position also held by the Sadducees. 
They did not expand their canon by adding any Samaritan compositions. There is a Samaritan book of Joshua, however, this is a popular chronicle written in Arabic and is not considered to be scripture. Other non-canonical Samaritan religious texts include the Memar Marka teaching of Marka and the Defter prayer book. Both from the 4th century or later, the people of the remnants of the Samaritans in modern-day Israel, Palestine retain their version of the Torah as fully and authoritatively canonical. They regard themselves as the true guardians of the law. This assertion is only reinforced by the claim of the Samaritan community in Nablus an area traditionally associated with the ancient city of Shechem to possess the oldest existing copy of the Torah—one that they believe to have been penned by Abisha, a grandson of Aaron. Topic. Christian biblical canons Topic. Topic. Early Church Topic. Topic. Earliest Christian communities Topic. The early church used the Old Testament, namely the Septuagint LXX, among Greek speakers, with a canon perhaps as found in the Bryennios list or Melito's canon. The apostles did not otherwise leave a defined set of new scriptures, instead, the New Testament developed over time. Writings attributed to the apostles circulated among the earliest Christian communities. The Pauline epistles were circulating in collected forms by the end of the 1st century AD. Justin Martyr, in the early 2nd century, mentions the "...memoirs of the apostles," which Christians Greek, Christianos called "...gospels," and which were considered to be authoritatively equal to the Old Testament. <laughs> Marcion's list Topic. Marcion of Sinope was the first Christian leader in recorded history though later considered heretical to propose and delineate a uniquely Christian canon c. A.D. 140. This included ten epistles from St. Paul, as well as a version of the Gospel of Luke, which today is known as the Gospel of Marcion. By doing this, he established a particular way of looking at religious texts that persists in Christian thought today. After Marcion, Christians began to divide texts into those that aligned well with the canon measuring stick of accepted theological thought and those that promoted heresy. This played a major role in finalizing the structure of the collection of works called the Bible. It has been proposed that the initial impetus for the proto-Orthodox Christian project of canonization flowed from opposition to the canonization of Marcion. Topic. Apostolic Fathers Topic. A four-gospel canon the Tetramorph was asserted by Irenaeus in the following quote, "...it is not possible that the Gospels can be either more or fewer in number than they are. For, since there are four quarters of the earth in which we live, and four universal winds, while the Church is scattered throughout all the world, and the pillar and ground of the Church is the Gospel and the Spirit of life, it is fitting that she should have four pillars breathing out immortality on every side, and vivifying men afresh." Therefore the Gospels are in accord with these things. For the living creatures are quadriform and the Gospel is quadriform. These things being so, all who destroy the form of the Gospel are vain, unlearned, and also audacious, those I mean, who represent the aspects of the Gospel as being either more in number than is aforesaid, or, on the other hand, fewer. By the early 3rd century, Christian theologians like Origen of Alexandria may have been using or at least were familiar with the same 27 books found in modern New Testament editions, though there were still disputes over the canonicity of some of the writings see also Antilegomena. Likewise by 200, the Muratorian fragment shows that there existed a set of Christian writings somewhat similar to what is now the New Testament, which included four Gospels and argued against objections to them. Thus, while there was a good measure of debate in the early church over the New Testament canon, the major writings were accepted by almost all Christians by the middle of the 3rd century. Topic: Eastern Church. Topic: Topic: Alexandrian Fathers. Topic: 
Origin of Alexandria 184 to 253-54, an early scholar involved in the codification of the biblical canon, had a thorough education both in Christian theology and in pagan philosophy, but was posthumously condemned at the Second Council of Constantinople in 553 since some of his teachings were considered to be heresy. Origin S canon included all of the books in the current New Testament canon except for four books: James, 2 Peter, and the second and third epistles of John. He also included the Shepherd of Hermas, which was later rejected. The religious scholar Bruce Metzger described Origen's efforts, saying, "The process of canonization represented by Origen proceeded by way of selection, moving from many candidates for inclusion to fewer." This was one of the first major attempts at the compilation of certain books and letters as authoritative and inspired teaching for the early church at the time, although it is unclear whether Origen intended for his list to be authoritative itself. In his Easter letter of 367, Patriarch Athanasius of Alexandria gave a list of exactly the same books that would become the New Testament 27 book Proto Canon, and used the phrase, being canonized in regard to them. Athanasius also included the Book of Baruch, as well as the Letter of Jeremiah, in his Old Testament canon. However, from this canon, he omitted the Book of Esther. Eastern canons The Eastern churches had, in general, a weaker feeling than those in the West for the necessity of making sharp delineations with regard to the canon. They were more conscious of the gradation of spiritual quality among the books that they accepted for example, the classification of Eusebius see also Antilegomena and were less often disposed to assert that the books which they rejected possessed no spiritual quality at all. For example, the Trullan Synod of 691-692, which Pope Sergius I in office 687-701 rejected see also Pentarchy, endorsed the following lists of canonical writings, the Apostolic Canons c. 385, the Synod of Laodicea c. 363, the Third Synod of Carthage c. 397, and the 39th Festal Letter of Athanasius 367. And yet, these lists do not agree. Similarly, the New Testament canons of the Syriac, Armenian, Georgian, Egyptian Coptic and Ethiopian churches all have minor differences, yet five of these churches are part of the same communion and hold the same theological beliefs. The Revelation of John is said to be one of the most uncertain books, it was not translated into Georgian until the 10th century, and it has never been included in the official lectionary of the Eastern Orthodox Church, whether in Byzantine or modern times. Western Church Topic. Topic. Latin Fathers Topic. The first council that accepted the present Catholic canon the Canon of Trent of 1546 may have been the Synod of Hippo Regius in North Africa 393. A brief summary of the Acts was read at and accepted by the Council of Carthage 397 and the Council of Carthage 419. These councils took place under the authority of St. Augustine 354 who regarded the canon as already closed. Pope Damasus I S. Council of Rome in 382, if the Decretum Gelasianum is correctly associated with it, issued a biblical canon identical to that mentioned above. If not, the list is at least a 6th century compilation. Likewise, Damasus' commissioning of the Latin Vulgate edition of the Bible, c. 383, proved instrumental in the fixation of the canon in the West. In a letter c. 405 to Exapirius of Toulouse, a Gallic bishop, Pope Innocent I mentioned the sacred books that were already received in the canon. When these bishops and councils spoke on the matter, however, they were not defining something new, but instead were ratifying what had already become the mind of the Church. Thus from the 4th century there existed unanimity in the West concerning the New Testament canon as it is today, and by the 5th century the East, with a few exceptions, had come to accept the Book of Revelation and thus had come into harmony on the matter of the New Testament canon. As the canon crystallized, non-canonical texts fell into relative disfavor and neglect. <laughs> Luther's canon. 
Martin Luther (1483–1546) moved seven Old Testament books, Tobit, Judith, one to two Maccabees, Book of Wisdom, Sirach, and Baruch into a section he called the Apocrypha. To refer to these books without calling them Apocrypha. Catholic and Eastern Orthodox, and Oriental Orthodox later referred to them as the Deuterocanonicals, while still accepting their full canonicity. Luther removed the books of Hebrews, James, Jude and Revelation from the canon partially because they were perceived to go against certain Protestant doctrines such as sola scriptura and sola fide, but this was not generally accepted among his followers. However, these books are ordered last in the German-language Luther Bible to this day. Topic. Canons of various Christian traditions Topic. Final dogmatic articulations of the canons were made at the Council of Trent of 1546 for Roman Catholicism, the 39 Articles of 1563 for the Church of England, the Westminster Confession of Faith of 1647 for Calvinism, and the Synod of Jerusalem of 1672 for the Eastern Orthodox. Other traditions, while also having closed canons, may not be able to point to an exact year in which their canons were complete. The following tables reflect the current state of various Christian canons. Topic. Old Testament Topic. All of the major Christian traditions except the books of the Hebrew protocanon in its entirety as divinely inspired and authoritative, in various ways and degrees. Furthermore, all of these traditions, with the exception of the Protestants, add to this number various deuterocanonical books. However, in some Protestant Bibles—especially the English King James Bible and the Lutheran Bible—many of these deuterocanonical books are retained as part of the tradition in a section called the Apocrypha. Some books listed here, like the Testaments of the Twelve Patriarchs for the Armenian Apostolic Church, may have once been a vital part of a biblical tradition, may even still hold a place of honor, but are no longer considered to be part of the Bible. Other books, like the Prayer of Manasseh for the Roman Catholic Church, may have been included in manuscripts, but never really attained a high level of importance within that particular tradition. The levels of traditional prominence for others, like Psalms 152-155 and the Psalms of Solomon of the Syriac churches, remain unclear. Insofar as the Oriental Orthodox Tewahedo canon is concerned, some points of clarity should be made. First, the books of Lamentations, Jeremiah, and Baruch, as well as the letter of Jeremiah and four Baruch, are all considered canonical by the Orthodox Tewahedo churches. However, it is not always clear as to how these writings are arranged or divided. In some lists, they may simply fall under the title, Jeremiah, while in others, they are divided in various ways into separate books. Moreover, the book of Proverbs is divided into two books, Mesail Prov, 1 and Tagzes Prov, 25 Additionally, while the books of Jubilees and Enoch are fairly well known among Western scholars, 1, 2, and 3 Maccabean are not. The three books of Maccabean are often called the Ethiopian Maccabees, but are completely different in content from the books of Maccabees that are known or have been canonized in other traditions. Finally, the book of Joseph ben Gurion, or Pseudo Josephus, is a history of the Jewish people thought to be based upon the writings of Josephus. The Ethiopic version Zina Ehud has eight parts and is included in the Orthodox Tewahedo broader canon. Topic. Table Topic. Topic. Table notes. Topic. Topic. New Testament. Topic. Among the various Christian denominations, the New Testament canon is a generally agreed upon list of 27 books. However, the way in which those books are arranged may vary from tradition to tradition. For instance, in the Slavonic, Orthodox Tewahedo, Syriac, and Armenian traditions, the New Testament is ordered differently from what is considered to be the standard arrangement. Protestant Bibles in Russia and Ethiopia usually follow the local Orthodox order for the New Testament. The Syriac Orthodox Church and the Assyrian Church of the East both adhere to the Peshitta liturgical tradition, which historically excludes five books of the New Testament Antilegomena, 2 John, 3 John, 2 Peter, Jude, and Revelation. 
However, those books are included in certain Bibles of the modern Syriac traditions. Other New Testament works that are generally considered apocryphal nonetheless appear in some Bibles and manuscripts. For instance, the Epistle to the Laodiceans was included in numerous Latin Vulgate manuscripts, in the 18 German Bibles prior to Luther's translation, and also a number of early English Bibles, such as Gundolf's Bible and John Wycliffe's English translation. Even as recently as 1728, William Whiston considered this epistle to be genuinely Pauline. Likewise, the third epistle to the Corinthians was once considered to be part of the Armenian Orthodox Bible, but is no longer printed in modern editions. Within the Syriac Orthodox tradition, the third epistle to the Corinthians also has a history of significance. Both Afrahat and Ephraim of Syria held it in high regard and treated it as if it were canonical. However, it was left out of the Peshitta and ultimately excluded from the canon altogether. The Dadash, the Shepherd of Hermas, and other writings attributed to the Apostolic Fathers, were once considered scriptural by various early Church Fathers. They are still being honored in some traditions, though they are no longer considered to be canonical. However, certain canonical books within the Orthodox Tewahedo traditions find their origin in the writings of the Apostolic Fathers as well as the ancient Church Orders. The Orthodox Tewahedo Churches recognize these eight additional New Testament books in its broader canon. They are as follows, the four books of Synodos, the two books of the Covenant, Ethiopic Clement, and the Ethiopic Didascalia. Topic. Table Topic. Topic. Table notes Topic. Topic. Latter-day Saint Canons Topic. Topic. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Topic. The Standard Works of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints LDS Church consists of several books that constitute its open scriptural canon, and include the following The King James Version of the Bible, without the Apocrypha The Book of Mormon, Another Testament of Jesus Christ the Doctrine and Covenants of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints The Pearl of Great Price The Pearl of Great Price contains five sections. Selections from the Book of Moses. The Book of Abraham. Joseph Smith. Matthew. Joseph Smith. History. And. The Articles of Faith. The Book of Moses and Joseph Smith. Matthew are portions of the Book of Genesis and the Gospel of Matthew respectively from the Joseph Smith translation of the Bible. The Joseph Smith translation of the Bible is also known as the inspired version of the Bible. The manuscripts of the unfinished Joseph Smith translation of the Bible JST state that the Song of Solomon is not inspired scripture. However, it is still printed in every version of the King James Bible published by the church. The standard works are printed and distributed by the LDS Church in a single binding called a quadruple combination, or a set of two books, with the Bible in one binding, and the other three books in a second binding called a triple combination. Current editions of the standard works include a Bible dictionary, photographs, maps and gazetteer, topical guide, index, footnotes, cross-references, excerpts from the Joseph Smith translation of the Bible and other study aids. Other Latter-day Saint sects Topic. Canons of various Latter-day Saint denominations diverge from the LDS standard works. Some accept only portions of the standard works. For instance, the Bickertonite sect does not consider the Pearl of Great Price or Doctrines and Covenants to be scriptural. Rather, they believe that the New Testament scriptures contain a true description of the Church as established by Jesus Christ, and that both the King James Bible and Book of Mormon are the inspired Word of God. Some denominations accept earlier versions of the standard works or work to develop corrected translations. Others have purportedly received additional revelation. The community of Christ points to Jesus Christ as the living Word of God, and it affirms the Bible, along with the Book of Mormon, as well as its own regularly appended version of Doctrines and Covenants as Scripture for the Church. While it publishes a version of the Joseph Smith translation—which includes material from the Book of Moses— 
The Community of Christ also accepts the use of other translations of the Bible, such as the Standard King James Version and the New Revised Standard Version. Like the aforementioned Bickertonites, the Church of Christ Temple Lot rejects the Doctrine and Covenants and the Pearl of Great Price, as well as the Joseph Smith translation of the Bible, preferring to use only the King James Bible and the Book of Mormon as doctrinal standards. The Book of Commandments is accepted as being superior to the Doctrine and Covenants as a compendium of Joseph Smith's early revelations, but is not accorded the same status as the Bible or Book of Mormon. The Word of the Lord and the Word of the Lord brought to mankind by an angel are two related books considered to be scriptural by certain factions that separated from the Temple Lot Church. Both books contain revelations allegedly given to former Church of Christ Temple Lot Apostle Otto Fetting by an angelic being who claimed to be John the Baptist. The latter title 120 messages contains the entirety of the former. S material 30 MSGS with additional revelations 90 MSGS purportedly given to William A Draves by this same being after fetting S death neither are accepted by the larger temple lot body of believers the church of jesus christ of latter day saints strangit considers the bible when correctly translated the book of mormon and editions of the doctrine and covenants published prior to joseph smith's death which contained the lectures on faith to be inspired scripture they also hold the Joseph Smith translation of the Bible to be inspired, but do not believe modern publications of the text are accurate. Other portions of the Pearl of Great Price, however, are not considered to be scriptural, though are not necessarily fully rejected either. The Book of Jasher was consistently used by both Joseph Smith and James Strang, but as with other Latter-day Saint denominations and sects, there is no official stance on its authenticity, and it is not considered canonical. An additional work called the Book of the Law of the Lord is also accepted as inspired scripture by the Strangites. They likewise hold as scriptural several prophecies, visions, revelations, and translations printed by James Strang, and published in the Revelations of James J. Strang. Among other things, this text contains his purported letter of appointment from Joseph Smith and his translation of the Vori Plates. The Church of Jesus Christ Cutlerite accepts the following as scripture, the inspired version of the Bible including the Book of Moses and Joseph Smith Matthew, the Book of Mormon, and the 1844 edition of the Doctrine and Covenants including the lectures on faith. However, the revelation on tithing section 107 in the 1844 edition, 119 in modern LDS editions is emphatically rejected by members of this church, as it is not believed to be given by Joseph Smith. The Book of Abraham is rejected as scripture, as are the other portions of the Pearl of Great Price that do not appear in the inspired version of the Bible. Many Latter-day Saint denominations have also either adopted the Articles of Faith or at least view them as a statement of basic theology, they are considered scriptural by the larger LDS Church and are included in the Pearl of Great Price. At times, the Articles have been adapted to fit the respective belief systems of various faith communities. Topic see also topic Books of the Bible Bible translations Biblical criticism Biblical manuscripts Canon fiction, A concept inspired by Biblical canon Canonical criticism Jewish Apocrypha List of Old Testament Pseudepigrapha New Testament Apocrypha Non-canonical books referenced in the Bible topic Notes topic 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 References topic 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 Citations topic topic Bibliography topic Anti-Nicene Fathers. Eerdmans Press. Lightfoot, Joseph, Harmer, John, Holmes, Michael, eds. 1992. The Apostolic Fathers. Barker Book House. ISBN 978-0-8010-5676-5. Encyclopedia of the Early Church. Oxford. Beckwith, R. T. The Old Testament Canon of the New Testament Church and its Background in Early Judaism. Eerdmans Publishing Company. ISBN 978-0-8028-3617-5. Davis, L. D. The First Seven Ecumenical Councils 325 Their History and Theology. Liturgical Press. ISBN 978-0-8146-5616-7. Ferguson, Everett. Encyclopedia of Early Christianity. Fox, Robin Lane the Unauthorized Version, Truth and Fiction in the Bible. Penguin Books. Gamble, Harry Y. 2002. The New Testament Canon, Its Making and Meaning. WIPF and Stock Publishers. ISBN 1-57910-909-8. Henneke Schneemelcher. 
N. T. Apocrypha Nersesian, v. 2001. The Armenian Canon of the New Testament. The Bible in the Armenian Tradition. Los Angeles, California, J. Paul Getty Museum. ISBN 978-0-89236-640-8. Jurgens, W. A. Faith of the Early Fathers. Sundberg, Albert 1964. The Old Testament of the Early Church. Harvard Press. Topic further reading Topic Barnstone, Willis ed. 1984. The Other Bible, Ancient Alternative Scriptures. HarperCollins. ISBN 978-0-7394-8434-0. Childs, Brevard S. 1984. The New Testament as Canon, An Introduction. SCM Press. ISBN 0-334-02212-6. McDonald, Lee Martin. 2009. Forgotten Scriptures. The Selection and Rejection of Early Religious Writings. Westminster John Knox Press. ISBN 978-0-664-23357-0. McDonald, Lee Martin. 1988. The Formation of the Christian Biblical Canon. Abingdon Press. ISBN 0-687-13293-2. McDonald, Lee Martin. 2000. Early Christianity and Its Sacred Literature. Hendrickson Publishers. ISBN 1-56563-266-4. McDonald, Lee Martin. 2007. The Biblical Canon, Its Origin, Transmission, and Authority. Hendrickson Publishers. ISBN 978-1-56563-925-6. Souter, Alexander. The Text and Canon of the New Testament, 2nd ed. Studies in Theology, No. 25. London, Duckworth. Stonehouse, Ned Bernhard. The Apocalypse in the Ancient Church, a study in the history of the New Testament canon. Osterbahn and Le Cointer. Tausig, Hal. A New New Testament, a Bible for the 21st Century Combining Traditional and Newly Discovered Texts. Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. Wall, Robert W., Lemchio, Eugene E. The New Testament as Canon, a Reader in Canonical Criticism. JSOT Press. ISBN 1-85075-374-1. Westcott, Brooke Foss, 1875. A General Survey of the History of the Canon of the New Testament, 4th ed. London, Macmillan. Topic external links Topic The Canon of Scripture, contains multiple links and articles The Canons of the Old Testament and New Testament Through the Ages Cross Wire Bible Society Old Testament Reading Room and New Testament Reading Room, online resources referenced by Tyndale Seminary The development of the Canon of the New Testament, includes very detailed charts and direct links to Ancient Witnesses Catholic Encyclopedia, Canon of the New Testament Jewish Encyclopedia, Bible Canon What's in Your Bible? A chart comparing Jewish, Orthodox, Catholic, Syriac, Ethiopian, and Protestant canons Bible Study Magazine, November-December 2008. Online Latter-day Saints Scripture The Standard Works LDS Church Lectures on Faith 1844 edition of Doctrine and Covenants The Book of the Law of the Lord Strangied. The Revelations of James Strang Strangied. The Word of the Lord, brought to mankind by an angel Fetengite, Elijah message Biblical Canon of the Orthodox Christian Church